What is up guys? So I just got back from uh, Mammoth and tomorrow I'm going to Mexico. So back to back trips right here. Don't have a lot of time at home. Uh, I basically had to unpack everything that I had and then repack because I got to make sure I have the right stuff to go from a snow adventure to this tropical paradise in Mexico that I'm about to be in. So super excited for that. And I want to show you guys what's going to go into all the packing, you know, what clothes I'm bringing, what camera gear, and uh, how I put it all into the bags. Because for me, that's the most critical part because I got a lot of stuff and it barely fits, honestly. Like, I've had a lot of problems every single time when I'm traveling because I'm trying to stay cheap. I'm trying to get all my stuff in and you have weight limits and bag limits. And so you got to be super precise about everything that you're doing. So let's check it out. Now, first, I've got this big old red bag right here. What I like about it is it's pretty big and it's not heavy. So it allows me to get a lot of stuff in it without going over the weight limit of 50, uh, 50 pounds or 23.3 kilograms, which is super critical when you're trying to bring a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna start with some clothes in there because I wanted to have some padding around the edges and I'm gonna start to fill in some of the camera gear that I'm not so worried about losing. So. Um, Got some of these shorts like this, you know, it's gonna be tropical weather out there, so definitely wanna have that. And then um, uh, I've got a bunch of shirts that I went, did some shopping just for Instagram to get some real trendy shit so that I could look cool out there. Okay, so gonna get these shorts in there and then I think some jeans and maybe a sweatshirt just in case it gets cold at night, you never know. And uh, yeah, the jeans are a really nice look too. So even though I'm always looking at these guys and I'm like, don't you prefer to wear shorts when it's hot out? But they're always wearing jeans. So I don't know, I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, but yeah, I'm going there for like two weeks. So I gotta make sure that I have um, two weeks of clothes because I'm not sure what the laundry situation is going to be like there. Well, there better be laundry. I can't bring two weeks of clothes straight up. I didn't even have that for going around Europe for six weeks. So I'm just going to kind of throw some stuff in here. It doesn't matter too much. Just getting a little padding layer. When, when it starts to matter is you want to have uh, all of your low density stuff in this bag and all your high density stuff in the smaller bags because then when you do that, you can load up your smaller bags, your carry-on, super heavy so you can bring a lot of stuff. That's what I've always been doing on these trips. So it's starting to look like we got enough clothes here in the bottom. Get those jeans in there. Okay. And then next is the water housing. So water housing is pretty rugged. I don't mind throwing it in here. Um, I had it in my carry-on one time and it was packed just right but not padded very well and I was forced to check the carry-on and it actually cracked my other port. So the, the dome port that goes on this got cracked. I was really upset. And they also lost my bag. So, so it took an extra day to get the bag and something came back to me broken. So it was really upsetting. So I got the port off, makes it just a little bit easier to pack. Uh, I'm gonna throw some stuff in there so I'm taking advantage of all of the space that I have. Um, don't need too many socks on this trip because it's a tropical place, so mostly just gonna bring uh, everything else, you know? So the water housing is just gonna plop in the corner like that a little bit. I'll put some stuff around here to help it fill in as needed. And the ports can just go in, same way. No big deal, they're not going anywhere, nothing's gonna happen to them. Put a t-shirt in here, make the most of that space. Okay. And then, yeah, we don't have to pack that too tight because it'll get to 50 pounds really easily. So the other thing that I got to put in here real gently is my Ronin. 
and you would think that I would want to travel with it in something like this, this real sturdy pelican. But if I take that pelican, that's the only thing that I can put in it basically. So right now it has a sweatshirt and itself, the Ronin. So it's not a very efficient way to pack. So I'm gonna take the Ronin and then put it in here just like that. And then kind of find some spaces for these and then all around it is gonna get filled in with clothes. So the main purpose of clothes when you travel honestly is just to protect your camera equipment. Everyone knows that. Gotta keep track of what's clean. I think uh, I'll be bringing some dirty stuff because I don't have time to wash it. I just came back from that trip. So this shirt is gay, but I don't think so. So we'll see how it does in Mexico. Um, so about the Ronin, I only have one battery for it, which really sucks because you kind of need more than one battery for everything. And another thing I just found out is when I was leaving my hotel in Mammoth, I accidentally left a battery that goes to that camera. So that's very unfortunate. Uh, but there's nothing I can do about it now. I might send them an email and ask if they'll mail it to me, but I don't know. Um, so at this point, I'm sort of just wrapping everything in clothing and it kind of just has to survive the flight. And then once I get there, I can kind of uh, redo everything and make it a little bit nicer. But super important to have all this camera gear protected. That's number one, absolutely and to keep the weight under 50 pounds. So my next pair of Instagram jeans right here. They got some nice holes in the knees and everything. Really critical for being a photographer. All right, get this belt in there somewhere. Um, and I've got some miscellaneous camera equipment. Um, that'll go in my camera bag and I'll put that up in a second so that we can see what's going into there And I've got some of this stuff from my friend's clothing company I definitely want to have this with me because it's always good to rep the homies when I'm out traveling um, Little light jacket I've not been keeping track of how many of everything I have so hopefully I got some good numbers in here So one thing that's really exciting about this Mexico trip is that there's a uh, meteor shower coming up. So I'm hoping that we'll get some really epic stars when we're out there. And um, I'll be able to shoot some like time lapse of the meteor shower or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's just a good opportunity. Uh, so that's enough of these clothes. And this is getting pretty full right here. So I'm gonna put like one more layer of something. It looks like I got this sweatshirt too. Um, didn't check the temperature there yet, but you know, in the middle of winter, it's gotta be at least sweatshirt weather at night, I'm imagining. Okay, so now we've got this soft layer on top. And now my babies, these carbon fiber fins that I just got, and that's not gonna fit. So remember last time, when I was traveling with my fins, I like folded them like that or something, but I think these ones are longer than my old fins. Yeah, definitely. So uh, I'm gonna pause this real quick and then I'm gonna take these apart because you can uh, undo it right here and then get the blade out of the boot and then hoping that it fits, but geez, if it doesn't, then uh, I'm gonna be bending these because they sent me these to bring them to Mexico. So gotta do what I gotta do. So these are the carbon fiber blades that we got. I got the, uh, the foot pocket out. And if you get the chance to play with carbon fiber fins, I highly recommend it. It is so choice. Some really nice sounds right there. So I think that these are gonna fit just barely and uh, they 
might come in broken. Um, it's definitely gonna suck if they get shattered, but um, this is what has to happen because I gotta bring these. So, we're a little low right there. Wow, that's nice. All right, so I like how this is in the frame. I'm just so professional, guys, I'm killing it. Uh, so I'm gonna try to find a way to fit these in that they're not gonna break, but Ugh. I'm scared. They're, they're probably watching this just shuddering like, uh, what are you doing to our fans, dude? <laughs> okay, so hopefully they can handle that flex for the trip. Um, I don't fully know the uh, material specifications of carbon fiber, especially when it's this thin, but I'm pretty sure you do not want to have it uh, like bent too far because then it'll snap. So it's like kind of brittle. Um, but it's not too bad right here. I just have to put some kind of padding under it basically so that it doesn't have anywhere to like so if it gets pressed right here too hard so that it's not creating this like hard crease there. So I'm just gonna fill in that space a little bit, probably with these uh, foot pockets. And then unfortunately, well, I don't know, like, yeah, these are just so heavy. I don't think that I can bring them and it sucks, but I pretty much never get to travel with my dive fins. So uh, I'm kind of used to it. So yeah, I'll just slide that in there. And then make sure I got the right size one. That would suck if I showed up and uh, had one one big fin, one little fin. Um, yeah, so that's dope. Okay, and I'll just... Yeah, I don't think I can bring these. Um, for myself, of course. Got my short fins. Shout out to the guys at Defin for being the original fin hookup. Um, so these are gonna fit in just like that. And yeah, I think with that, this bag is gonna be at max weight because just kind of eyeballing the things that are in it, I think it's looking pretty heavy. And then I'm gonna kind of load up my uh, carry-on with mostly clothing because this one has all the, all the goodies in it. I don't really have to worry about making my carry-on all crazy this time. Okay. Try to fill that. Yeah, it's like 48. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, I gotta put this mask in there too. I'm sure, they want it to be kept in this box, but I don't have time for that. Um, and then I'm gonna put my mask and snorkel in my carry on because it's like, this is stuff, well I don't know, I couldn't really survive without the water housing, but yeah, so hopefully nothing gets lost. So, close that one up. All right, we gotta put one more layer on top of these fins, just to keep them a little bit more protected. Um, My grandma got me this really silly Batman shirt. So maybe I'll take that and uh, send her a picture in it or something. Maybe people will like it and I'll be surprised, but I think it's a little bit too wild for my taste. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so that looks good. On to the next one. Oh. Um. Yeah, so these are like the fin accessories. Those definitely need to come with me. I'll just put it in the top here. I might have to watch this video again to remember where I put everything. And I can also put my slippers in there. 100% need these. So these are gonna go up in this top part too. Okay, that looks pretty good. So next up is my wonderful Pelican backpack. So uh, looks a little dirty. I've definitely been putting it through uh, some abuse, but it's okay. Um, 
Problem is you can't really see me pack everything for this one because the two cameras that are gonna go in it uh, are not in it, but I'll say where they're going. So I have this, the Sigma um, 14 1.8, super stoked on it, super beautiful lens. Um, so that's gonna go right here. And then the rest of the stuff that's coming with me, you can see on the gear video that I have on my YouTube channel, that's the only new lens that I have. So I'm just gonna get these tucked in. The lens that's on this camera right here is gonna go right there. And then this camera, the 1DX2, is gonna go in here in this slot. And then finally, uh, I have the 70 to 200, and that goes up here, and then so does the 7D Mark II, this camera right up there. So I'm always ready to pop it out and vlog real quick. Um, and then I gotta have the uh, Ronin mounting bracket, super important, the screw's already in there, and then a uh, couple of uh, lens body caps and uh, lens backs that'll go in with the cameras once they get taken apart, and then Gotta have my remote. I forgot it when I was taking selfies, taking by my selfies out at um, the hot springs in uh, in Mammoth, and it was a huge pain to not have it. So I'm definitely not going to forget it this time. Finally, I've got some of these uh, sponsored artifacts that I'm supposed to shoot with. So I've got this uh, phone charger, and then these uh, movement watches. We all know what that's all about. So get those up in the top so that I don't have to think about bringing them on shoots. I just always have it and then I'm like, oh, let's pop it out. Let's shoot this real quick and then get it over with. Okay, so that's the basics of the camera bag. Let's go to my final carry-on. Oh, and a tripod will go right here too, but that's also in use. So finally, we've got my second piece of carry-on, the very luxurious Pelican rolls super nice. Doesn't have the same volume that my other bag does, but uh, it just works really well and it's really easy to um, like bring it and have it with me. So I kind of prefer it to the cheap other bag that I have that I use sometimes. So it's already got some of the essentials in it. It's got this little GoPro mouth thing. I just threw the GoPro in the other big bag because it's got the long stick. I forgot to say that earlier. And then this uh, float thing, um, battery charger. So just some random shit in the bottom, doesn't really matter. The number one essential for traveling in the tropics, board shorts. If you're a guy, you really only need one pair. Um, it would probably be cool for me to have like two or three pairs that were nice, or just some black ones, but these are my ones until they get too old and then I'll finally replace them. But if you're a girl, you better have like 10 bikinis for every single day that you're going, I swear. No, just kidding, but you girls are probably like that honestly okay so we'll get some layers some clothes down in there and the bottom got a lot more electronic stuff to put into this one um, but one thing that's super essential for this trip is all these snacks so these are all vegan and they're super awesome snacks i'll show you guys the brands because i'm really stoked on these brands so we've got uh this orgain protein right here and then the nutzo uh, peanut butter squeezes or it's not peanut butter it's some kind of nut seed butter and I'm all about that butter boy yeah I love that stuff so got those snacks packed um, and then oh this is feeling heavy so um, the backpack doesn't really work for me because I already have the other backpack but definitely need my laptop and then uh, basically just a bunch of cord accessories that go to random things and then uh here's one more lens that i definitely need to have so this is my macro lens i use it to take the eye photos like photos of people's eyes not uh you know anything that's apple related um and i've got this strap i don't really use it that often uh i probably should because it's nice but i just don't because i'd rather have the quick ronin hookup or a tripod hookup on the bottom um and then one more usb 3.0 cable can never have enough of those so just gonna get this packed. It looks like I got a lot of space and I might be able to throw these bad boys in there. Um, yeah, that kind of works. So um, maybe I will get to use those dive fins, but I don't really know what I would need them for, honestly, because if we're on a dive, I'm gonna wanna be quick with everything and I don't wanna you know, spend the time to switch out 
uh, what fins we're using and all that. So I think I'm gonna do another layer of clothes on this and then finally the laptop. Cause you wanna have your laptop quick to take out so that you don't look like an idiot when you go through TSA. Cause if there's one thing that I cannot stand is when people are in the TSA line and they don't move all their stuff real quick. So your laptop needs to come out, your shoes need to come off. If you don't know this by now, you need to get with it. All right, so we got some more boxers some shorts and then i think i'm just gonna top it off with a bunch of button-up shirts because those are always nice to have when you're in the tropics because it's super hot out so you can just wear one all the way on button look like a real cool dude i really want to get some of that classic like miami uh resort wear like where you got like the white top the white pants the white hat like some p diddy type stuff that'd be super cool but don't really have the budget for that kind of tropical suit right now all right, so I got these shirts. I don't know if I put any socks in any of the bags yet, and I've been talking about how I don't really need them, but I need at least a few, because I do like to wear socks when I wear shoes, and I probably will wear shoes at some point, especially if I'm gonna be on camera, because I don't think that slippers are the look. Um, and then I was bringing dress shoes with me a lot through Europe, but I think in Mexico, especially the places that we're going to, it's just gonna be a little bit overkill. All right, more professional quality stuff going on here. Uh, I just realized I forgot to put my drone in the bag and also this camera just died. So we're coming back, we're here. Um, got a couple more things to put in. I gotta find a way to fit the drone somewhere. So I think I'm gonna check the weight on this bag right now and see if it's at like 45 47 and then maybe i could put the drone in there um but otherwise i'm gonna have to find a way to stuff it into this bag um which it'll still fit i think yeah maybe i'm just gonna reconsolidate this bag and then make it fit there so good drone and it just needs basically for some shit to get pushed out of the way Now it's in, and I'm being super lazy about doing a good job here. And I probably should have hit record on this one for that part. Okay, so we got the drone in here, and I'm just gonna try to stuff this shit down. This can go there. Circle and mask, uh, kind of critical. Couple more socks in here. Yeah, that's good. As you can see, packing very, very neatly right now. Just kind of over it today. Okay, I can feel a space for the last and most important piece of my arsenal for travel. Yeah, that's not gonna fit. At least not with the laptop. Okay, maybe it will. <laughs> so bad. Okay, so it's like piled high right now. I don't know if you can tell. And then I'm just gonna force that closed. Some clothes didn't quite make it all the way in. Okay, we're packed. All right, gonna find out everything that I forgot to pack in the next couple hours. This bag is super heavy. That's exactly how you want it to be, packed to the brim. Ooh. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, 
if you want to see more videos like this, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same video every time. Maybe I'll do one next time I pack for a winter destination. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know, do all that YouTube stuff that you're supposed to do to give me that YouTube money that I need so bad. Uh, no, I don't really care. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to be doing, I think, daily vlogs in Mexico. I'm going to just see how much I can do. Um, I'll be meeting up with some really cool people that I'm super excited about. Um, so it should be great. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.